Don Tomello over here. That's a lot of grandpa. This is going to be a close race. Will you share this? Oh, yeah. Bucky and Don Tomello, yeah, it's going to be close. You know what I mean? There's just so many kids. And if so, how would you like to see the money used? Thank you. Could you turn off the microphone static because nobody's using the mic? Yeah. Turn off on the mic. Squeaky wheel. I'm John the Engineer Termel, and I want to pay students with bus bucks, bus tickets to shovel the snow. It's an alternate currency. Alternate currencies are being used all over the planet. And about the movie, what a bummer! Bad! Rich oppress the poor, never enough money for all of us to survive, and no answers. Oh, Sweden, they managed to do it okay, but we're supposed to copy them without telling us how. Well, they mention the abuses of the rich and the poor and tax evasion. And the problem is not abuses. Why do you think the system's made to be game? So you get upset. So you're so upset by the abuses, you forget there's a systemic malfunction that takes from the poor people to give to the rich people. Usury, interest, and the depression. A lot of pictures of the depression. Hey, 10 years before they had a boom, the 1920s, the roaring 20s, jobs for everybody, industry, next year, sitting down in front of their trees with their hammers and chainsaws, can't build houses no more, money's gone. Well, guess what? Just like the idiot railroad master, who when he was told to sabotage the railway because the invading army's company, he burned all the railroad tickets, then you had this idiot army who had to hoof it because they couldn't find any tickets. We're just as stupid if we can't find any money, any poker chips, to bank our game. Now, no one expects you to work for bus tickets. You're too old. You got your welfare checks, you got your thousand bucks from the government, you got your fifteen hundred in the job. Two thousand in bus bucks doesn't interest you. But at my site, I've been videotaping kids saying, I'll work for bus bucks. All the kids in town will work for bus bucks. Twelve bus bucks an hour is decent money. I got five stores in town now who will take bus bucks. I said, will you give this database a 10% discount? Okay. Well, don't eat the discount. Take 10% bus bucks and you can spend it too. Don Warner's, Bradford, the martial arts, Stromboli's Pizza, Station Restaurant, Minuteman Press. Sure, they'll take 10% bus bucks. Thank you. So what I'm asking you it's going to cost you money to implement things and to enforce some of the great rules and plans that you have. But do you have the guts to actually say it's more important to cut the grass at Winston Court than it is up in the industrial parts where I work every day? How will you make policy work for the poor? <laughs> Well, talk about a perfect example for paying a bunch of kids to go get rid of the thistles, but you pay them with bus tickets. I got all these kids, I got all these empty bus seats, I'm not going to change the routes, not going to change the drivers, not going to change the schedules, I'm only going to fill the buses and get the thistles cut down. That's what I'm going to do. But remember now, you saw the people in the movie there crying, things are bad. Hey, remember the days of Trudeau, Trudeau. And then Maloney, Maloney, and then Critchy and Critchy, and then Harper, Harper. You voted for your poverty. You deserve it. You could have voted for me every time. <laughs> All right? And I'd have given you an interest free credit card at the bank. Everybody. I could have reprogrammed the Bank of Canada's computer 30 years ago to run the LET software. Nobody took me serious. Nobody ever voted for John Turmel. Trudeau, Trudeau, Moroni, Moroni. And that's what you get, and that's what you deserve. Because you could have voted for me, and I could have fixed it. Thank and you. after this election, John, same story. Thank you. Okay, my name is Vanessa Fraser. I'm a local artist here in town. I am a top of the class graduate of graphic design at Mohawk College. And I'm also on OSP, believe it or not. I don't really know what to do on OSP to further my career in the arts, to further my career in graphic design, 
because they're all expecting me to be drilling in a cup instead of wanting to further myself. Like, I mean, there are lots of people on ODSP that have ambition and, uh, you know, want to do things, you know. And, and I know ODSP does encourage us to work. And, you know, like when, I mean, when you want to work, but you also need help. Well. Oh, you don't think bus bucks would fix it? How many other people don't think bus bucks would fix it? I can't eat bus Okay. <laughs> well, actually, you take, go so. to Stromboli's Pizza or go to the station restaurant, and so you can for part of your bill. I'll paint something on the yeah. Part of your bill, that's so right. You're going to encourage lack of nutrition yeah. by bus bucks? In order to not to mention her, enslaving you know, your kids. How does that make any sense? Okay, let's you're start. right, it didn't. You're you're right. And and just, uh, no, she's right. She didn't. She made no sense. You're absolutely right. I never said that. What you said because it made no sense. Here's the point. If the kid of a poor family, the kids can bring in some income which allows some bills to be paid. Like maybe the kid does go to one of the martial arts places in town. Well, if it can save them 10 bucks a month by working on a snow shoveling gang to pay for that education, well, that's mama who doesn't have to pay it. If he can pay his own bus fare, that's the family who doesn't have to pay it. Maybe Junior doesn't get an allowance no more because Daddy lost his job and Daddy's having trouble covering Junior's <laughs> transit card. Well, if Junior can pay the transit card, it eases it on Daddy. I'm saying that there are many ways that these credits that are generated by a community can be used. And like Jesus said, when it comes to explaining interest-free money, they're going to forever be hearing without hearing and seeing without seeing because they're too dumbed down by their debts to believe it could ever be happy and work right. Okay, well, believe it or not, my program is I'm going to engineer banking on earth as it is in heaven. Yeah, but no loan sharking. That, that okay. has nothing to do with the fact That's that That's even I was, insulting, I was actually. I know, but your debt. I want to get rid of the interest on your debt, so all payments go against principal. I was accused of not paying taxes because I'm I didn't. Yeah, but those are abuses. I'm going to get Why are we wasting time with this guy? Yeah, yeah. He's supposed to be like. A broken down person. Not everybody on the is broken down. Well, I'll give you a chance to get off by giving you a bus bucks paycheck. Yeah, sure. One more, uh, one more, John. One more uh, candidate can get along to that. Thanks. You know what? Okay, I live at Winston Court, and uh, I have two things I want to talk about because I feel that they're really oppressing people in poverty. I, I work. I have a pretty decent job, and I live in poverty. I'm afraid to do my laundry because my apartment is just full of people selling crack, people who are drunk, people are smoking the laundry. I'm doing laundry one morning and I, there's a guy sleeping down in our laundry room. So as it is, I've got things piling up because I'm afraid to be down there for more than an hour and a half. That's one thing. So that on top of oppressing us, they have this great big sign on our lawn that says, City of Brantford housing, that's really making me feel proud. <laughs> yeah. Especially when I, I come out at 6.30 in the morning to catch the bus and there's like, I out there like this and I don't even know who he is and I'm afraid to step out my door. Thirdly, we had a holiday last week on Monday. And we have churches that are trying to help people in poor by giving them a meal. There's people in my building that live on $240 a month and they can't afford a bus to come uptown <laughs> they had, I'm not even, anyways. That's right, anyways, you can't. You want to I'm shot, not done you yet. You want it to, but you You know couldn't. what, you want to get the record for losing the most elections, you're working on it. You want to walk, lady? <laughs> anyway, you don't deserve bus anyway, bucks, lady. There's some people, listen, there's some people. <laughs> will you stop, please? There's some. Let her finish, let her finish. No, what the she insulted me earlier, that's why I'm taking her back at You're it You're insulting this whole She deserves it. Okay, yeah. I, I got big shoulders, I can take she him. She can take it. I want to finish my question. Go ahead. Please, we go have ahead. no Let's transit see. on holidays. Mm -hmm. So to make matters even worse, people who have physical disabilities, such as myself, such as seniors, some seniors that live alone, and don't really have any family, to partake in that free dinner that I could have went to at St. Andrew's Church, it would have cost me $20 in cab fare. Yeah. So instead, I had to sit home, 
by myself and be ostracized even further. We need transit, we need better transit, even if it's Sunday service on holidays, we need it. We're a big enough city where people can use it and we need to do something about policing, policing in our housing. Yes. The drug abuse. Yes. And the reason, you know the reason I don't move? is because I'm a little bit protected. I go to some private sector, and those drug dealers are there too, and I have no protection at all. Yeah. So I don't know what my question is, but I know that we, we need more transit, we need better transit, and we need, we need, that's right. Yeah. Does anybody disagree? Everybody agrees. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's honestly. We need more, yes. We all agree. To be rude, I like to John in this situation. It's, it, you know, it, he's got a particular point of view, and he just repeats it. So, I mean, it's just. Don't get into Enslaving her. Her. She's talking and, about and and her her her. children is not the you answer. You can't afford buses. But, Jormel, you've had your turn. But you know, what we. Place? And you know what, I'm, I'm glad you've identified some issues that that's the way you keep money in people's pockets. The way you deal with a, the, one of the easiest ways to deal with the issue of poverty is make sure money stays in people's pockets. Thank you, James. Uh, one question on the back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Last question. Whoa, whoa. I'm I'll sorry, turn. Mr. Kamau. I don't get a turn to answer the lady who I I can explain what I want to talk to her about. I, I won't be do listening. All that for nothing. I won't be listening. Well, now, it's up to uh, the no. people here. No. 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 So what? You should get the chance to answer. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I, no, Mr. Kamau. Oh, the, the, the. so it's not, oh, well, would they identify the people so I can leave okay. the stage when I'm not going to get to answer? Okay, can I, can I at least explain? You were all given an equal opportunity to respond. They were. They, they were, they had the opportunity. The, the other candidates uh, nodded. And, uh, you don't, and you, that's the other thing. You don't have to feel obligated to respond to every question. Well, this one I got an answer. Okay, if, uh, if the people wish it. No. 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 <laughs> Just wasting our time. Uh, yes, yes, sir. One video. Okay, yes, sir. Last question at the back. I have uh, John Tenacity, and I'm in the Jesus business, so I think you misquoted it. So am I. Uh, <laughs> I'm new to Frank from the social services. Now, in rehabilitating, the, rehabilitating the downtown, my question is: Are you providing for social services outside of the downtown sector? No. Mr. Casey, am I going to be able to answer? No. You're going to ask the audience uh, again? No, no, sir. Sir. no, sir. No, sir. No. Touch base on the casino. I'm not a big fan of casinos because they, they tend to tax the you know the disadvantaged. Uh, in despair, that's where we end up. <coughs> in terms of revitalizing the downtown. I believe that downtown should reflect the needs of everybody in our community. And I do believe in integrated housing because it gives people that have a lower income a chance to participate on an equal level with people of a higher, uh, of a higher uh, uh, income bracket. You know, in terms of what we bring downtown, we should have social services downtown because that's where a lot of those problems are. And you know what? People can't get down there. We need to have it where, people, where there are people. We also have to bring businesses in that reflect the people here. We've heard, oh, we'll bring a keg. Well, that's a little too many people that can spend $100 on a dinner now. We need to bring businesses and boutiques and stuff back that everybody, everybody in this room has a chance to participate and enjoy. You know, so that, I think that's the key to our, our downtown revitalization is to make sure it reflects the entire community, not just a select few. Okay? We'll call the meeting and we'll talk to people one on one in a smaller group. I'd like to offer uh, Mike a chance to respond. Don't forget your helmet. Uh, all, all I want to say with respect to the downtown is that um, in order. Go get a real cop. You can't do nothing. If I can't talk up there, I'm not going to sit like a local log. I just got excluded. You know, this is a really important issue, and this is how you're going on. You think you're going to do it twice to me? Vote away my chance to answer the question two? Not a chance. Do you want to come up and talk to us? Yeah. I want to go back to the table and answer the question everybody else. What we're going to do now is we're going to.
Do so I answer the question with everybody else or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I want to answer the question. You, ladies, lady, you excluded me from the question and I can get punished. Yes, madam. This is Okay. Thank you, everyone, for coming. I'm very uh, sorry about the disturbance we're having. Um, I do want to thank everybody for coming to the... Uh, Mr. Tremel, please let me speak. You're sitting there threatening people. He doesn't even understand the issue. It's more important. Thank you, everybody, for coming tonight. There is information on the uh, table and the side of the room. I don't have information about the round table authority. We have, um, we have also got people, this is a very emotional time right now, and if anybody would like to have some support, we have a couple of people here who are willing to talk to you about providing services in your community. We've got Carrie Here is the police cruiser come to see me.